At that time, seeing the crowds, Jesus went on to the mountain. He sat down and his disciples approached him. Then he began to speak and taught them. Matthew 5, 1-2 On January 28, 2018, on a gloomy Sunday, many faithful gave new life to the verse of the Gospel of Matthew. Like 2,000 years ago, many set out to participate in the Holy Mass commemorating the Feast of the Mount of Beatitudes in the chapel built on the top of the mountainous relief. It is typical of the Church of the Holy Land to celebrate the Gospel in the place where the Gospel was written and places that recall the episodes of the Gospel. Tying the place to the event is a way to remind us that the heart of Christian life is the Incarnation, a revelation that becomes flesh that is Jesus. It is something that is not a memory of the past, but something that today still nourishes our faith. The Discourse on the Mountain, Jesus' Teaching, collected in chapters 5, 6, and 7 of the Gospel of Matthew, and also recaptured in the Gospel of Luke, which revolutionizes the concept of Beatitude, resounded during the Mass presided by Monsignor Pier Battista Pizzaballa. We come here to pray every year. It is a special feast. Today they quoted, Blessed are the peacemakers. We hope that peace prevails here in the land of peace, especially in the midst of the unfortunate and difficult conditions afflicting the Middle East. I hope politicians have a unified plan of peace and not just words. I came here to, um, to have the blessing for this uh, occasion. And uh, I wish uh, the peace be in this world, especially in the Middle East and all over the world. We have all problems. I wish good luck for my family, for my friends, and for everybody. At the behest of ANSMI, National Association for Assistance to Italian Missionaries, the sanctuary was built on top of the mountain overlooking the Lake of Tiberias, and it was managed by the Franciscan nuns of the Immaculate Heart of Mary since its creation in 1938. In the Holy Land, this is the only memorial that was built from scratch. According to scholars, Matthew's discourse on the mountain is a synthesis of several preachings of Jesus that took place in this area, a few kilometers from Capernaum, where Jesus had gone to live in the years of his public life. Even today, everyone who climbs the mountain or looks at the Sea of Galilee at its feet has the opportunity to listen and relive those words. <laughs>